Yes. Is it live? Live. Yes. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome at the Han International Week, or actually the International Week for all the schools that are attending and the people that are here. Um, I'd, I'd like to speak for the whole team that we are very, very, uh, very happy that you're all here. Uh, we would like to share some stories with regards to the uh, student networks that we have laid out in the past years and uh, all the students that are here and actually all the staff that is here as well have uh, added to some of the student networks that are um, currently used throughout the, throughout the world and especially within the, the world of health healthcare. Um, I'd like to start with uh, introducing myself. My name is Max. I'm in my second year of physiotherapy at the Hong University of Applied Sciences. And me, myself, I am at a, uh, one of the associations here at the school, which is called NOPFI. Um, and it stands for all the health professions within the school. And we would like to uh, work together to create opportunities for students outside of the normal curricula to organize events like uh, public speakers, invite them over, uh, inv maybe organize some parties for students to attend to after school. Unfortunately, that's not uh, one of the things that we do right now because of the pandemic, but hopefully we will be able to do that soon again. Um, and I would actually, the goal for this panel is to discover uh, ways in which we as students uh, broadened our perspectives in terms of uh, outside the normal curricula and how we uh, laid networks throughout the world internationally with other health professions. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to know, to get to know all of you um, so we can uh, have a nice conversation about actually glo global network and student networks in particular. Um, if you just could tell quickly who you are, uh, where you're from, your age, maybe an interesting hobby. And most importantly, I would like to ask you uh, to come up with something that you're horrible at, whether it's learning, whether it's planning, whether it's riding a bike. Uh, I know all the Dutch people out there, they, they're probably pretty good at riding bikes, but maybe the internationals might not know uh, how to ride a bike that well. So I would like to give, to like to give the, the word to Mace. Maybe you can tell us something about yourself. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm okay. I'm here. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so I'm Mace. I'm 21 years old. Um, I'm here for uh, from the Han from the Han University in Nijmegen. I mainly will talk about uh, IPSM International Physiotherapy Students Meeting, where I'm why, with with what I have organized in the past and will organize again in two years. Um, I'm also participated in a lot of physio couch activities and other international activities in Han, such as this international meeting. Uh, international week um, something I'm bad at um, everything connected with planning scheduling um, knowing what to do not running behind stuff like that that's something that you don't want don't get from me so you will probably just need to get behind my ass and let's just let say me you do you, stuff you, you... You have other qualities, Mace. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So <laughs> if, right. if, if I can do it in a moment, then I'm good at it. If I have to plan ahead, don't ask me. So you're a short-term planning god. When it yeah. comes to long-term planning, then... No, no chance. Get out no. Hand. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Mace. Who else would like to introduce themselves? Not all at once, please. Yeah, <laughs> No. I'm, uh, my name is Maria. Uh, I'm from the Han as well, uh, from uh, occupational therapy. Uh, nice. I'm 19 uh, and I'm here as part of a representative from SPOT, which is uh, the student platform, platform uh, occupational therapy. So everything doing with, uh, well, everything international <laughs> basically. <laughs> so yeah, um, what I'm horrible at, oh yeah. Um, it's gonna have to be not to sound cliche, but like get um, I've missed so many trains in my life. It's it's <laughs> horrible. It's <laughs> it's becoming a problem. So uh, yeah, so leaving on time 
to get my train. I'm horrible at that. Yeah, <laughs> we're just okay. not really good as students. <laughs> Well, luckily we have a good train network in the Netherlands, but um, yeah, that's fortunate. Yeah, <laughs> you, still have, you still have to take them in time, but that's okay. Thank yeah. you, Marielle, and we'll uh, dive deeper into what Spot exactly is and what you've done uh, with Spot later. Um, maybe stay 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 here as well. Yes, she's here. Uh, yeah, um, I'm Stella. I'm 23 years old, and um, I'm from the Han as well. I'm in my last year. Um, and I'm connected to um, the other uh, uh, student association from physiotherapy. Um, I'm in my third year of that, uh, that association. Um, and I can talk a little bit about Physio Couch um, and IPSM as well. Nice. Um, and something I'm horrible at. <laughs> um, Planning has already been set. Um, <laughs> texting back, maybe. <laughs> WhatsApp, yeah. Yeah. So if you um, text me, uh, it might be a few days before I respond. Yeah. That's also a good thing. You know how to put away your phone, you know, enjoy some, some quiet time. So there's a flip yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. Sometimes, Not always. I, sometimes, sometimes I read it. And then forget that I haven't replied yet because I've, yeah. in my head, I've already replied. And then I, I didn't do it, actually. So that might be a problem. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully yeah. it doesn't become too big of a problem. Um, let's hopefully. see. We also have Jonne. Jonne, Jonne Kaldenhoven. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands and the Han as well. I am on my second year of occupational therapy and is, uh, I'm also in SPOT Nijmegen. I am actually the social media lead, so. Nice. Me? Um, something I'm bad at, dancing, I think. <laughs> 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 nope. Dancing is not your, uh, your cup of tea. No, I had five years of lessons, but. <laughs> still, still nothing. I don't believe you, but we might have to, you know, when we get together physically once in the future, we might have to try that out and see how that goes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Jonna. Uh, yeah, Emma. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to find my mute button. <laughs> no uh, my name's Emma. I am from the UK. Um, so I feel like that's like a pretty boring place compared to <laughs> Why? you guys. I don't know. It just is. And the um, Netherlands isn't? Huh? I mean, the Netherlands is as well, so it's grey, it rains no. a lot, you know? <laughs> um, I'm currently doing the Euro Masters um, Occupational Therapy course whilst um, doing my newly qualified role as an OT, and I'm here to speak a little bit about SPOT. Nice. Later on a, a lot of SPOT students. I like it. Very good. Thank you, Emma. Do you have something that you're horrible at? Uh, anything well. to do with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> anything to do with numbers. Just, you know, doing some, some addition. Yeah. It's not a... Okay. Well, okay. Thank you. Um, thank you, Emma. Uh, Aleph, if I pronounce your name right. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, I'm Alice. I'm also from the Netherlands, uh, from the University of Applied Sciences Leiden, uh, and yes. I'm here regarding NP. So, oh, nice. and uh, something I'm terrible at is remembering names. That's really a problem. I am very, very. <laughs> well, you're in luck because all of our names are shown in the screen right now. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice, very nice. Well, let's see. Thank you, Alice. Uh, Lilu. <laughs> hey, uh, hi everyone. Uh, so I am from France, a physiother physiotherapist. Gra I've been graduated uh, five years ago. And five years ago as well, I had the huge luck to discover the physio couch community and, uh, and uh, events. And uh, at that specific uh, occasion, I had the, the I had the luck again to meet some of uh, the person who are here today, and that opened uh, my mind quite a lot. So uh, right now, I am in the southwest of France, 
but nice. I am working working here yeah a little all around France with um, physiotherapy in France we can uh, we can me doing substitution I can work a little all around France so that's what I'm doing discovering the country while uh, working with physiotherapy wow and very uh, jealous <laughs> <laughs> that this is quite an, an so, nice sounds, to... sounds lovely to travel again <laughs> yeah yeah and um and all and i'm bad at uh, being uh, synthetic i guess <laughs> synthetic <laughs> all right that's what i could say thank you thank you so much Lulu. um we also have let's see lars in here yes now my name is lars i'm 20 years old um i'm student here at the hen and i'm in a second year in physiotherapy um I like to play sports, speed skating, cycling. Um, yeah, I would like to talk with you about the connecting with each other. Um, I also have participated in some projects at school um, where we connect uh, students from all over Europe in, um, in projects with physiology or things like that. Um, and I'm horrible at things that I really have to do. I always move them forward. <laughs> it's always last minute <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're a bit of a procrastinator aren't you yeah i think so <laughs> <laughs> i think in some way every student is right yeah, I, I, I mean I pretty much a thing that we can all agree on that we're sometimes we have big tasks that we have to postpone a little because we have some you know a new netflix show that we're binging or a party that we're attending exactly, and exactly yeah you got to, to get your priorities straight but sometimes yeah. uh yeah. all right nice sounds good thank you lars um, Samantha. Hi, um, I'm Sam, 26 year old physiotherapy student uh, at the Hon, with a background as a clinical exercise scientist, and um, I coordinated Karen Train in since the beginning of the first lockdown. Yeah. I was at the last physio coach meeting in Olomouc, and I'm just interested in the upcoming conversations about connection. And I'm horrible at ball sports like handball or soccer, where you run <laughs> with your opponent through the same, um, through each other on the same field, without a net or something in between. Yeah. So anything besides from volleyball or something that that's yeah. that's that's quite good. But soccer or anything else is just uh, okay. Thank you, Samantha. Um, Maud, Maud Waitings, welcome. Hello. Hello, thank you for having me. I hope everyone is all right. My name is Maud. I'm 22 years old. I am Dutch, but I studied phy physiotherapy in Portugal. And I'm also connected to PhysioCouch. And we've been trying to bring it to Portugal, but pandemic happened. So we're still <laughs> kind of seeing how <laughs> things go. Yeah, yeah, we're still trying. Yeah. Oh, and I'm terribly good at getting lost. <laughs> getting lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Maud. Thank you so much. Niels, let's hear from you. Hi, uh, I'm Niels. I'm 20 years old and I am a second year uh, physiotherapist student from the head. Um, and I've also participated in uh, the Karen Train project. Um, and I really love to play football, but that is impossible at the moment. Uh, and I am really bad at making music. <laughs> I just don't have any rhythm at all. No, no rhythm. No. no singing, no? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, it's good that you know your, where your weaknesses lay, you know? It's, it's all right. You, you identified them. All right. Thank you, Niels. Uh, Michelle, Michelle Vivane. Hi, uh, I'm Michelle. I'm from Rotterdam in the Netherlands. I've studied there. Uh, I graduated last week. Um, and I'm, thank you. <laughs> and I'm the vice chair of GNYP, a, a global network for physiotherapy, uh, for youth in physiotherapy. Yeah. And I'm ter ter terribly bad at waking up. I'm snoozing <laughs> all the time. Waking up, that snooze button <laughs> yeah. is way too good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can feel that. Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> thank you. Vanessa. For Hi, my name is Vanessa. Um, I live in the Netherlands. I am uh, also an occupational therapy student uh, from the school De Haan. Um, I am a member of the Spot Nijmegen. I am the outreach coordinator where you um, connect to other people um, from, from outside. Um, one of the things that I'm bad at 
texting has a bit of, has a, been already been said. So then I will go with baking. Baking. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vanessa. We'll dive deeper into spot later. Um, I think we only have Leah left, right? And Mace, Leah and Mace. Oh, no, Mace was the first one. Never mind. Yeah. Leah. All right. So, hello, everyone. My name hello. is. Um, I'm from Germany. I studied physiotherapy in Finland and in Spain. And I'm here representing Enfi together with Aleph. <laughs> And yeah, what I'm horrible at, I actually have to share the same thing. It's names, remembering names. names. We have lived in the apartment for two years and I still have to ask, what's the neighbor's name? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, luckily we don't have that problem now. So that's a good thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also have Joost and Ton here who are part of the organization of the International Week. Would you guys like to introduce yourself as well just for the students that don't know you yet? <laughs> Who's going well, ju just a few words. Uh, Ton Satink, I'm uh, working for the APS, uh, the academy, so to say. That's the first uh, part, but I'm also an occupational therapist. I'm quite active in uh, eNote, and I think I can say that I'm one of the biggest supporters of uh, the Spot Network. Nice. Joost. My name is Joost van Wieche. I'm a um... Uh, I'm a senior lecturer here at the Academy of Allied Health, uh, and I'm also a physiotherapist. Uh, I'm part of ENFE uh, as represent as connecting with the students. I'm one of the ancestors of uh, putting a student network into place, uh, and I was uh, also involved in both IPSM for five times and uh, one of the grounding initiators of PhysioCouch some years ago. I'm still really keen on having everything in collaboration between professionals and upcoming professionals because I think that we have to merge way more and have to start learning more from each other. That's also great that we are here together. Yeah, I completely and, agree. Yeah, and for the first time, I'm really terrible with technical things and planning <laughs> and that kind of things. And I love a little bit of chaos. So that's also what happened here today again. <laughs> a prime example. Prime Very example. nice. Sorry. Um, Meadow. Meadow. Yeah. Oh, you're I'm mute. Yeah. yeah, sorry, that took a little bit. Um, no, what what I say the, said earlier. Yeah, I'm very pleased to 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 do the meeting with you. I'm in a story. I'm a physical therapist, trained physical therapist, and later on a movement scientist and an educational ed, educational scientist. And at this this moment, director of this wonderful school of uh, allied health uh, education, and a great supporter of students and a great supporter of all types of student networks. I think the, these are so important, especially the international ones. And it's so good that you meet here together. Thank you so much, Menno. All right. Oh, wait, before we have to go, something that you, you're not good at, Menno? <laughs> oh, I've, uh, I'm balancing. That is balancing. Uh, balancing, <laughs> everything balancing. I do one thing too much and too many. Yeah. And then I have sports, for instance, I have a huge aching muscles. And then I thought, oh, no, 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 balance, balance. Yeah. Balance, balance in all things. All yeah. right. Thank you so much, everybody. So lovely to meet you here. And, and actually, as I think Menno touched on and Jos also, um, this is a board or actually a panel to just uh, present and discover all the ways in which we can connect as students worldwide, not just in your country or in Europe. Um, so I would like to start with the people from SPOT. I heard a lot of people here from SPOT, um, Aleph and Leah. Oh, no, no, Leah was Enfe. Um, let's see, it was Maud and Jonne for SPOT. Um, could you guys, and Marielle, could you guys maybe tell us something about SPOT, um, how you guys got involved, what SPOT is, and the opportunities that you guys had throughout the last years? And uh, one thing in between, uh, feel free to unmute, unmute yourself and ask questions, uh, get interaction with each other. So it's not just listening, so we can just talk with each other and get a conversation going instead of yeah. just presenting something. If, just, if you're curious about feel something, feel free to unmute ask. yourself and yeah. Um, we have actually um, put a bit of a presentation together, but feel free to stop me nice. or would you, whoever's would you speaking. Like to, 
Would you like to share it? I think Dunia Mace, can you give her the rights to share the? Uh... I think you should be asking Yost. He's hosting it. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, nice. Can everybody see this? Yes. Yeah. Has it made it? Is it gone bigger now? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect now. Okay. Um. So we are Spot Europe. Um. My name's Emma, and um. We do have some more members on the board, but fortunately that can't make it today. Um, we consist of Cass, who is the president, so she oversees everything, and then Julie, the vice president, who um, gives her a bit of help if she needs it. Um, Cass and Julie are from Amsterdam too, uh, in the Netherlands, and we have Emanuela from Greece, she is the blogger, so she'll reach out to students who want to write a blog about anything <laughs> OT, to be honest. So um, any experiences that they've had, they've had, whether it be placement or volunteering, um, it just gives students like a free space to write an article without having to like put an abstract into a into a paper or um have any pressure around it like it's it's fully um just an opportunity to get people's research people's ideas just to get people out there so if anybody ever not here to pitch but <laughs> if anybody feels <laughs> on that um it is a really good way to do something like write something up with no pressure no um like interviewee criteria type thing it just needs to be ot related and that's it um we have bruno who's the event coordinator so um we have events throughout the year so online events where we have guest speakers from around the world um either qualified ot's students researchers um expert by experts by experience so it could be like patients or service users absolutely anybody that wants to talk about healthcare occupational therapy um really good events we've had um all sorts of different things which is um really good there's me who's the outreach coordinator so um you'll be hearing from the mini spot from um Han university later um so they will talk to you more about what they do but i basically look after all the mini spots so we're sort of spot europe's like an umbrella and then mini spots are like little groups of um people in each university if that makes any sense um we also have Bruna, who's social media lead, so she will um, like share things for students if they've got something exciting on social media that they want to share, or if anybody's got a question that they want to ask to other students and post that on social media or um, anything really. Um, we have an Instagram where um, we do like a day in the life of students in different countries, so you can see what people get up to in their um, school days or work days. Um, anything really that's good to share with students we share on there uh, and then we have a student board member of Vanessa who's linked with eNote um, so that is to help like your voice um, like OT students voice um, go through to the members of eNote which means that students can have like an influence on um, like international education which is very exciting um, so I will move on. Has that um, moved on for you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Um, so just a quick overview, um, a bit about us. So it was created in 2014 um, at the Eno annual meeting and it's grown massively since then. Um, so there was just a couple of board members that would collect student opinions and, um, on education and um, be the voice for students at ENO meetings but now we have like the development of mini spots and student representatives in different countries um we didn't have the student board member that was directly linked to ENO at the time um we didn't have as many events at the time so it's massively grown um and we also have international ambassadors now which is beyond Europe so um 
very, very heavily uh, involved with students and trying our best to act as like students' voices from around the world. Um, our core beliefs are um, that internationalization is so important um, in terms of professional identity um, because you can learn so much from different ideas and, and different countries have different cultures and different experiences that we can share around the world and connect students um, that wouldn't usually have the opportunity to get connected. Um, and as I said before, it, it gives students a voice to express views on OT education and make a real difference. Um, Cause at the end of the day, students are the ones experience it and they know what they need or we know what we need. Um, so the plan, we have two main plans and then all our activities and stuff fit underneath this. So one of our main aims is to connect OG, OT students um, across Europe and internationally, um, just to give people the opportunity to share opinions, perspectives, questions, experiences, um, and just connect people in like informal and formal ways. Um, and which is um, going really well at the moment. And the second aim is to create that collaboration with Enote, just so um, instead of just collecting people's opinions and discussions, we can then take that forward to actually make a change rather than, because obviously like connection is good and discussing things is good, but if we can take that information and actually use that to make a change, then that's, that's even better. Um, already spoke about the student board member a little bit. So I will um, click on to the next couple of bits. Um, we have um, mini spots, which are um, a group of students in each university, as I explained before. Um, and their aim is to bring internationalization into your, their specific university. Um, and we'll have um, Spot and I, Megan, later speaking to you about um, their personal experiences of that, which will be great. Um, we also have student representatives, which is um, like one person in each university or a couple of people working separately just to promote um, Spot and what it is within their university and promote um, all the activities. Um, we have the sounding board, which is very similar to student representatives, but um, their role is to a bit more to like collect students' opinion and bring it back to wars and help us on um, the projects. Um, and then we have international ambassadors. They're pretty much a, a, much a mixture of mini spots, sounding board members, student representatives, and they um, promote internationalization in their country. So we have Brazil, Canada, um, which is a massive thing now because we used to just link with students in Europe and now it's like getting to be around the world. So um, that's really exciting. And to be part of one of these things like there's no criteria um, apart from being a student. Um, and it's just a really fun way to, to like keep connecting with people and and have fun again without it being like any pressure and um, no real like it's, it's more like voluntary rather than like paid a lot of pressure and it just gives you a lot of experience uh, and some amazing opportunities as well. Um, we've already spoke about the main goals of the mini spots um, so we will move on to the guys from Spot Now, Megan, who can um, yeah. speak about their experiences. Yes. Can anybody hear me? Everybody hear yes. me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yep. nice. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I've already introduced myself, basically. I'm Mariella. Uh, and together with uh, Jonna and with Vanessa and also with Nina, but she couldn't be here, unfortunately. Uh, today, we formed Spot Nijmegen. Uh, which is at the Han, uh, we're a miniature spot, so we were part of the big umbrella. <laughs> uh, and at the Han, we organize uh, activities uh, with everything 
promote the international and globalization and diversity. So that's really fun because um, we noticed that at our regular program, there wasn't as much, well, attention to those things. So we wanted to be the place where you can go if you're interested in, in those things. So this year, which is really excited, exciting, we have a new thing. We ha we've launched our podcast. So that's a podcast, uh, but we're spot. We're very proud of the name. Uh, <laughs> and there we um, we um, we invite guest speakers uh, to talk to us about their experiences abroad. So we had one of our teachers uh, who traveled for eight years in America in the I think it was the eighties if I remember cor correctly. Uh, so he traveled all around America to be an occupation therapist. So yeah, that's a really, that's a really cool one. Also, um, one of our board members uh, has done some voluntary work in Peru. So, and that connected to OT. So it's really excited and we also exciting. And we're also launching uh, another uh, podcast very soon in English. They're now in Dutch. So yeah, this is some exciting stuff and some activities as well where we talk about it and yeah, just connect with each other. And if you like talk about our mutual love or curiosity about uh, everything international. So that's kind of what we do. <laughs> really cool. Thank you, thank you. Really nice. Um, so because there are also OTs and fishers here, um, because for both all of us, or do you have any part still, or am I am I interrupting? No, 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 go on. No, no, okay. <laughs> no, okay, it's cool. all good. Sorry, I um, cleaned that by accident. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just to ask. <laughs> Carry on. Um, because we're here with both fishers and OT students, um, mm -hmm. and we're all really into the international stuff, so we're all really working on international international internationalization. Um, working with each other. Mm -hmm. What do you guys feel like, think about the connection between OT students and FISO students? Because mm -hmm. we are pretty similar in what we're doing, but it's still really different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in my experience, we're both living kind of parallel to each other and not really crossing the line to each, towards each other or something like, what, what do you feel like the connection is between us? What can be better? What can we do about improving this? Yeah. Well, one connection is uh, every time I say I'm, I'm studying to be an occupational therapist, they're like, oh, something like physiotherapy, right? <laughs> so that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, seriously, I mean, like our professions are quite different, but they're also, yeah, quite similar, if that makes sense. So, Especially in certain areas, we're working a lot together in yeah, hospitals, yeah. in rehabilitation centers. Um, yeah, exactly. So... Because we are having here with we're here with a lot of representatives from all over Europe. Um, is there anything what you think well, like we can represent what we can do to better this connection, or shall we just continue with maybe explaining first what's what's out there uh, out there for physiotherapy? What's what can we do in general? Um, well, uh, oh, Yola, go ahead. Um, I mean, I feel like. Uh, if I'm like seeing this from my university point of view, we hear like what physiotherapy is doing and what they're like made uh, to do and where we can use them for, but we don't actually speak to them, if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. we hear like stories like, oh, it's important to work together and it's important to like discuss uh, a certain client or anything like that, but we don't actually talk to this, another student who is doing phys physiotherapy. Um, so I think that is already, like, if you apply that more in a curriculum, that will already, like, bring uh, the two together more, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. And also, like, if you guys want, you're welcome to come on one of our podcasts. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> that would be actually a really good idea to just get the two different approaches fused to every kind of problem so yeah that's something we can probably wow we're I creating think ideas here this is also 
May I also uh, add something to this uh, dialogue? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Jonna, I think <coughs> it's a good suggestion mm -hmm. to say, well, uh, uh, develop a shared curriculum, or at least at some points, but at least the lecturers know that curriculum development is a slow process. If I see how quick Spots Europe and also the uh, Physio Student Networks grows, why not do something with... The, the two networks. Why not start a kind of allied health network? Go outside of the curriculum. Yeah, I, yeah. I think yeah. I think it's also um, I think people are more inclined to connect with each other when there is no curriculum um, because then it feels like school yeah. and it's not obligated. To, like it's mandatory to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it, I think it it um, to really get us connected. It would be more fun and more useful thing. And I think. Um, to do it uh, informal instead of formal. If I can mm -hmm. add, add yeah. something on, on what you're saying, Esther, from my experience in France, in my school in France, we were mixed together. Like, well, we were not mixed. Like we, we had some of our courses that were together, like some courses of anatomy and things like that. We had them together with the occupational therapy um, uh, students. And then also our a kind of uh, um, association that was organizing uh, all the parties and everything. Uh, it was together, like it wasn't the physio uh, association and the occupational therapy association. But it was together as one. It was together. And I, I think Connect, right? for me, when I'm thinking, when I'm talking with physio that has been uh, trained, that has done their school in other places in France, I can really mm -hmm. feel the difference. Some of them has no idea uh, what occupational therapy is and since my friends were okay, occupational therapy because we were doing like we were part of the same associations just as you say Esther I had the opportunity to exchange most, much more with them and know what they were doing because I had like a, we were talking about it just like you talk with your friends about what they're doing you know so I think to start uh, after like in those kind of uh, big associations the the European uh, or national international part is great, but then in the in the schools as well, uh, if there is a chance to mix, I think that's a good way to to start the connection between the professions. And uh, Lilou, if there are, because at my university we don't have uh, uh, occupational therapy education, so we are we are only a physiotherapist. How would you? fix that problem because in the Netherlands uh, the physiotherapy students are even the physiotherapy students are not very connected in in the whole of the, the Netherlands so um, to connect the physiotherapy students and occupational therapy students is how would you do that it 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 it, it, may, it needs yeah. a bit of effort I, I I guess I guess for sure us we were like all in the same university with also like nurses and, uh, and stuff like that. But since, uh, still with all that, I've been really inspired when I've been to Nijmegen and I've seen this beautiful school uh, to see that the, um, there, there were spaces in the school where people could meet people. So I guess um, when the, the schools are in different places, because that's what you're saying, right? That you physio are in one school and uh, Yes, and occupational therapy are in another one. That was what you were saying, right? We don't have occupational therapy in the city where I... Um, ah, in the city. Ah, yeah. that's something <laughs> else. Okay, so then, so, so then I guess um, maybe the, this, ki this kind of event like today where me, I did a new spot. Spot? Am I correct? Yeah. Spot, yeah. spot yeah. Before, before. I did I did a new, but I think when then... Um, when the willing, like when you're willing to make connections, when you have those kind of uh, people in, in front of you, maybe they would, that would be an option uh, to start with the events, maybe not in the city, but um, for, if we take the uh, image of a physio couch, which is an mm -hmm. event that is not just about physio, uh, well then if we try to maybe build some uh, events like that, that would uh, be a, an opportunity uh, to just uh, think, well, talk between humans 
and then also ah I'm physio and I'm a, 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 a yeah, OT therapist. and then we can join in the conversation with each other and yeah. explore better because we're also here with yeah. a lot of other organizations like ENFA uh, the UV therapy organization maybe one of them would like to share what they're doing maybe what their role can be or what kind of network they have or experience uh, maybe ENFA can and if we can start, if they yeah, want to. Yeah, sure. We didn't prepare a beautiful presentation. And no, that's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and if we, the three board members are here, uh, by the way, Leah and Michelle. Michelle is now here for uh, uh, GMYP, but she's uh, also a board member of the student part of Enfi. Um, Enfi stands for uh, European, uh, European Network of Physiotherapy and Higher Education. Um, it is an organization where students and teachers work together um, to come up uh, with solutions to um, improve the physiotherapy education. Um, most of the students and uh, teachers are uh, in contact during all the year and we are working on projects and uh, different ideas uh, and we come together or in normal normal standards we come together uh, twice a year one seminar and or one conference um it is a little bit different um because it is not really a student organization um uh, mostly people uh, who are representative of a university attend uh, to the meeting um so it is not very public um it is a select group um but still uh, we come up with very nice things i think um, now, uh, in March, uh, the next meeting is coming and we are trying, as, stu as students, we are trying to um, make use of this extraordinary situation and uh, change the, the context a little bit. Uh, not really the context, but um, normally we would use the working groups, but now we want to uh, organize a, uh, a, a bigger idea and, and, and um, introduce uh, uh, one one problem we experienced in education and try to find a solution as all students. Um, Leia and Michelle, do you want to, and, and Joost, uh, of course, do you want something to add? I think you summarized it very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> what I just can add that I feel like for all students who have joined, it has been a beautiful um, experience to connect with students from all over the world. I studied in an international program, so I kind of, yeah, I had this international environment already during my studies, but it's so more in intense. You can say when we come together from these different universities and it's so interesting to, to connect and I think it's so valuable and beautiful. And if we can even cross cross borders more, like crossing the profession borders, I, I call it like this now. I think it would be beautiful <laughs> if we have opportunities for that. And it's also great that through ENFI, uh, GNYP um, um, came in mind. Uh, there was uh, someone from Tanzania, uh, Benjamin, he uh, contacted us as a student uh, body of ENFA and asked uh, ask us for a collaboration to develop a network for physiotherapy students, but also youth in physiotherapy to make the, uh, the line between the working field and being a student or a, a new graduate uh, smaller. And so we started last March in 2020 uh, with developing a GYP global network for physiotherapy uh, for youth in physiotherapy, and together uh, with uh, some other people, um, we formed the board. Uh, Aleph also uh, helped us with it, but uh, also together with Kate and Veronica from um, the Czech Republic and Richard from. Um, also from the Netherlands in Leiden, the same university as, um, as Ale. And right now we have people from all over the world. We have people from Africa, from South America, from Asia, from Europe, and we grow bigger um, by, the, by the day. And our goal is to share knowledge with each other and to uh, learn from each other, not only on professional fields, but um, 
but also uh, on a cultural um, cultural field. So that's what GNYP is doing. And um, in March, we will have our first anniversary and we will celebrate it big. So uh, it's going to be <laughs> really cool. Sounds, it sounds nice. really, really yeah. nice. Yeah, really cool. So, um, and um, one, of, uh, may I add something? Yeah, yeah sure. Go ahead. Um, when we were founding GNYP, we realized there are a lot of physiotherapy students uh, organizations around uh, the globe, very, very, very much, and very big mm -hmm. organizations as well, where we don't have any contact uh, connections with as NC. Um, and in contact as globalization, maybe for the next time it will be nice to ask. Uh, those organizations as well, like APTA from America, APTSA from Asia, uh, in Africa, there's not an organization yet, but they are working on it. Uh, in um, Latin America, there is an organization with a very long name, I don't remember. <laughs> but they are very big there as well. Because this is the GNYP is very upcoming then, right? It's, it's very global. And you're yeah, at the moment focusing on getting more members getting the word out from or also yeah, and already in, starting in the with future in the future when the pandemic is right now we're do uh, we're planning to do webinars and also starting a podcast but um in the future we also plan to do a sort of um physio couch ish but then globally so it would also be great if we can work together yeah because we're also with here a lot of organizations now ipsm uh, physio couch physio organizers, couch well. uh, OT students who can also bring a completely new perspective for us as starting physios or uh, st physiotherapy students, um, student boards. So if there is anything, because now we're all together, we, you can always ask us, ask everyone just to. Uh, hey. Sorry. Yeah. Please, I, I'm yeah. I'm jumping on what you're saying because uh, yeah. for me actually. I was when you guys were talking about all those names and I was like, man, I'm a little confused about like who is who and who's doing what <laughs> and, you know, and the, the different ones. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I think maybe I'm not the only one. So if at no, some I... stage we, we could do some um, communication for, uh, uh, well, for all the communities members to to organize a little for example for me i have this thing so i have mp in mind and then i have ipsm and i'm not is, yeah. is the ipsm the name of an event or is it part yeah, of okay, that, you know okay. i can clarify the well, these are kind of confusing yeah. Right. yeah um so ipsm is a uh, international international physiotherapy students meeting so it's an event not a group not Anything. It's an event that is organized by the Han, U Han University together with ESSA in Portugal. It's already been uh, hosted three times or four times. I can't remember which one. And the last one was in 2018. The next one will be in 2022. So at the moment, uh, it's, for, it's for his apart, but at the moment we're working on it already. It is a... It is mostly in the... May holidays for the Dutch students, um, but it's based on getting physiotherapy education and getting to know how it is different or together with other groups, other cultures, other broader than just Holland, just Portugal, just Spain, just Finland. So it's really broad. All of everyone in Europe is allowed to come. Um, you will. It's it's mostly a week long. So we're in a for a week. We're in a place in Portugal. Really nice sun, sun, uh, nice hotel. Um, but we're, but it is, uh, it's, it is informative. So we are talking about physiotherapy. It's not just a meaning of get together and just have fun. It's also, um, what is happening in the chat? Oh, there's a chat. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I, I was getting distracted by the chat. Okay, no worries. Um, so it is, it's kind of maybe a bit like physio couch for people who haven't been to one another, but it's more, more based or focused on physiotherapy and learning and less based on you as a person with a group of physiotherapy, physiotherapists. 
so because we're a lot of organization now it will be fun and i will really contact every single one of you to join us to help us with events with lecturers with speakers just to get to, uh, everything worked out because we're working with so many different groups uh, and meetings and whatever else is all here so it will be better if you just can get them all together and get something physical happening it's really cool also for us um fishy couch also so probably mout is organizing it now steve has been there Eleanor has been there uh, maybe you can talk a bit about what what the mindset of that is what we're doing also over there can imagine, Mace, i can imagine that hey, you have you all have such a nice connecting and sharing uh, energy hey, together and the yeah. fishing couch hey, well, i was there uh, a couple of years ago and i found it such a wonderful extremely wonderful uh, initiative and uh, because we all have that one oh, uh, so good well, so good. But, but i can imagine uh, being together with more professions that you make that you bring it up to a to a health couch uh, yeah, to the environment and yeah, um, and I think that would be wonderful eh, to to mm -hmm. to 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 make it yeah. around a theme, but to bring it up to to health couching. And uh, yeah, exactly like that. So <laughs> not just if you, if you, if you look for, for a little funding, you can can come to me. I will yeah, do and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to know, good to and, know. and and uh, did did yeah. we record or do we record this session because this is what you have to remember yeah but i but i was also <laughs> thinking about i was also thinking about funding eh? uh, at least uh, the mm -hmm. two groups who are connected to enote or to envy ask also a little uh, funding to the board of enote and envy because uh, more and more the voice of students is recognized as well almost the most valuable voice. So if, if you can already right now, a kind of plan, uh, well, is starting. If you show that you want to create a shared network or activity, uh, a couch, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. I think you can get a little funding also from uh, those associations. Yeah. yeah I completely fun. agree. And, and yeah. you can you can go to Menno, and I think also uh, Joost and myself we can support you uh, in well uh, how to ask for funding to the board of Envy and Eno. That's what we did in the past, and that's what we can do right now. Yeah, yeah. And I think for the most of the students that are here, we all share this kind of need or this itch to connect with each other and we can use that to develop these networks outside of the networks mm -hmm. that have already been established and maybe create a joint network or share some ideas or information. Unfortunately though, uh, we only have an hour today. So what if it's, what if we could maybe share meet up again, contact information and meet up again, yeah, maybe yeah. set up a new meeting, a brainstorm session and uh, think about ways in which we can uh, develop a plan or maybe come up with some ideas, how we can connect with each other. Um, how we can get the word out or if we are eventually mm -hmm. able to do that so that sounds like a good plan yeah and if i may add something when we start with the, the spirit as man was saying also from physio couch and all the other things the thing that we are here together now means something that we want to invest in each other we want to invest in interaction so i think it's nice to at least to, to think about the bigger things but at the same thing is also quite important so if we have a next meeting how can we start like when we did with physio couch it was nothing uh, there's no funding, there's nothing, but what can we actually do? So make every contact count. So what can we create that is there? Do we dare to invite each other? Do we dare to invite physiotherapy students to spot? Or do we dare to invite occupational therapists to come to our physiotherapy meetings? Do we dare to go with each other? So it's a small steps to, to, to take. And I think that it's, so we have to take some different connections if that's possible to make the, the large overarching part and directly start going. So I would be eager and I will be very pleased to help you to set up a meeting next week because I think, uh, don't wait too long. So, no. just, <laughs> so uh, and, and actually you say, yo, first start drinking beer and then look for money. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> well, we could do, we could do something like a pub quiz, you know, just on a yeah. Friday night, yeah. just all get a drink mm -hmm. and start sharing ideas. I like that idea. And, and, and if we take it in the kind of the moment that uh, the right, the, the do we have the right people? No, you have the right people when the people are present are always the right people because those have the energy to go and to bring it forward. That's like- Those are interested in getting it out. 
Get yeah, so, and getting... I think that's the thing that we have to get it moving. And that's the most important part because it's, uh, you show by example. And I think that's uh, something what you did today as well. Yeah. Nice. I see all these email contacts sending in the chat. Very nice. I think it's a good idea to, um, Joost has all the contact information of everybody who's here. So we can uh, send out an invitation maybe next week, maybe the week after that and see how we can brainstorm new ideas about the, these lovely ideas. I like it, guys. Thank it's you. Really cool, yeah. Um, I know that an hour is way too short to introduce everybody to talk about all of our experiences in the past about the networks that we've established. So hopefully um, everybody feels a need to reconnect and maybe reconnect next week to talk about it even more. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for attending, for being here, sharing your information, sharing your stories, and uh, I hope to see you soon again. Let's hope so, yeah. Let's continue. It'll be amazing. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>